Oh man, what a day I have been having. But I finally found a solution, a solution that I'm going to share with you guys that may be of help or your situation may be different. So I've been deferring or ignoring the upgrade to uh, 1703, the Windows Creators update, because I heard nothing but problems, so I've been ignoring it a lot. Uh, but recently it's gotten a bit more aggressive and would pop up during games and stuff and minimize stuff while I was streaming, which isn't very useful. Even worse when you're trying to record something, for example, and you're not streaming. So anyway, without further ado, here's the problem I had. So I'm using Windows on an M2 drive. Now, Windows Update does not like that. By all means, you can install to that drive, but for some reason, and I don't know quite what causes it, it may be specific for other people, but for me, the solution was pretty simple, but frustratingly unobvious at the time. So during Windows Update, of course, it restarts several times. Now every single time the goddamn thing restarted, for some reason, the order of drives or CD drives or USB sticks, all that kind of thing, the order of boot was changed each time within the BIOS. I, I don't know if Windows Update interferes with that, but I figured out eventually that what happened was every time Windows restarted, it would then default back to a different position. So rather than carrying on with a Windows installation, it would do something completely different and like, you know, try to boot the CD again and it would complain and give me an error that the drive was no longer there, was missing and it would give an error code. So the solution is pretty simple. You're going to have to wait a long time, but you're going to have to sit there and wait. And every time during the installation process or the update process, every time it restarts, because as we all know, restarts may happen a few times during installation. You have to be there to press F8 as your system's booting up to make sure that you are always, always launching from that particular hard disk. And then at some point you should also have the Windows Boot Manager, which will go on the volume, hopefully, where you wanted it to go, which in this case obviously was my M2 drive. And that's where half the problem was laying, was selecting the drive so that it would carry on booting from that and then create, I guess, the the um, the boot volume for it to actually boot eventually. So just a case of making sure the right drive selected and then to carry on using the Windows Boot Manager um, option as you continue through your installation. It seems to screw up the boot order in the BIOS. I don't know if it's changing the BIOS somehow. I didn't realize that was a thing Windows would be able to do from within Windows during this installation process, but it seems, at least for me, it was changing the boot order every single time I went into my BIOS. So it was a simple case of either going into the BIOS and redoing the order, or every restart that the PC did during the upgrade or installation process was to press F8 and then keep directing it to my drive, which is one of the Samsung NVMe or M2 drives. Then when Windows continues to carry on installing to that drive, you should be able to keep selecting the bootloader and it will carry on installing to that drive, but you may have to do it every single time. That's the only drawback, but it saves having to completely reinstall a fresh copy of Windows or putting another copy of Windows onto a different drive and then having two boot options. Uh, I just wanted the one boot option, thanks Windows, and I wanted it to work perfectly fine, but it would seem, I don't know whether it's a driver issue and Windows updates and installation just don't recognize the drive or if the um, boot order getting corrupted somehow is affecting this. I, I don't really understand the ins and outs of what made this happen, but I'm glad I figured it out and I obviously passed that on to you lovely people. Some other people also solved the problem by using the latest creators update ISO to fix their problem. When there was a problem, they would then run that particular ISO file either burnt to a disk or a USB stick to then do a repair and recovery and then get past this problem that way. That didn't work for me uh, at all. And then as soon as I found this out and this was working, it was just a case of sit there and keep pressing F8 and then keep selecting the correct drive because Windows is fucking awful. Another thing that I should throw in here as well is I was using DisplayPort to my 2K monitor and the installation procedure the installation procedure also didn't like that and the monitor was often blank during boot up 
which was weird because I, you know, I couldn't even see the BIOS at the time. I don't know what caused that issue, whether it's just display ports not accepted during this installation procedure or the resolution, I'm not sure, but uh, luckily I had a spare 1080p monitor kicking around that I was able to plug into uh, just in, in order to be able to see things. So again, if you're having a weird blank issue during a boot loop, you could also be missing out on some information if you're using a, a higher end monitor. So yeah, guys, if that helped you out, do let me know in the comments below and obviously leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you uh, like your gaming stuff, because I do mostly gaming on the channel, but I thought after spending seven hours finding this solution, I would share that with you guys, because I'm nice like that. So thanks for watching, guys. See you sometime soon.